details are sent to servlets and the EJB. And in the EJB, we are trying to use two kind of beans. What is that? First is the entity beans. To store your details in the database, your SIM card details, your address details, your mobile number, everything is stored in the database. Right? Persistence entity pins. You are using JPA, which are stored in the database. And second thing is entity pins. That's fine, guys. Stored in the database. The storing in the database does not mean your SIM card is activated. So to activate a SIM card, what exactly happening? A network provisioning should happen. Something related to the network elements or a physical network, which is a completely different layer or a different stack, which what we can call network provisioning. Provisioning. Provisioning stack. I'm right. Which is a completely should be activated in the hardware, which is a completely new, different from whatever you have. Here is this fulfillment stack is completely different and here fulfillment could be activated SIM card and this has to be activated in the hardware right which is a completely different but as a EGB what EGB can do EGB cannot activate guys EGB can store in the database right EGB cannot directly communicate with the hardware so basically what it will try to do it will try to send a asynchronous message it will send a asynchronous message. So what you have here, you have a message receiver, and here you have something called MDP, where a message will be sent asynchronously. Right? Asynchronous message is sent. Now EJB is not bothered. EJB has sent a asynchronous message. Fine, guys. In this way. Clear. Creating sample session bin. Right. So to create a sample session bin, what applications you require? You require Eclipse. Just click on the Eclipse about Eclipse. If you look at my about Eclipse, I am using Eclipse Helios. Helios service list. This is a software. Please try to download it. Eclipse Helios service release one. And the second one using JPOS Py dot applications. Two things we are using. Eclipse Helios and uh, JPOS Py dot here. Fine. Now. Yes. Let us create first session bin. So surface required Eclipse, Helios, and you require JBoss point or zero. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Really, I think like uh, if I have Eclipse, Helios, and Eclipse Gatsby, what exactly? First session. And uh, saying it as. Other, click on the other and say EGB or Java EE and we required what we have EGB. Yeah, EGB. Click on the EGB and we required a EGB project. Right? We required a EGB project and say next. Give the project name as we can do here demo EGB right demo EGB the application name is demo EGB and target runtime is JBoss and the EGB 3.0 we are giving it right now why because JBoss 0.0 it supports only EGB 3.0 and if you want to use EGB 3.1 then you have to download the latest version of JBoss right so here we are using 3.0 and custom configuration we don't require anything 
and here we don't require anything it's a simple very simple demo ejb then the target runtime is jboss and we require here is 3.0 and then say next then say next right generate descriptor file and then say finish and say yes so we have created a demo EGB. Fine. After creating a demo EGB, if you look out here, three things are given: session pins, message driven pins, and entity pins. But if you look out, we do not have none of them. None of them has been configured. Why? Because we haven't created. We have created only project. Now right click. After saying right click and say new and we want to create a session pin. Click on session pin and give package name now as com dot test or com dot demo. Right? Class name you can do as a first demo EJP. First demo EJP. That's it. Right? And here this when you say Okay. Right. So we say here we require a EJB remote, not the local, and say next. And when you say no interface, as I told you, it can be configured only in the 3.1, but 3.0 is it's mandatory to have a interface. And then say next. Right. Interfaces will be automatically created, and then say finish. So look at this. Now annotation a stateless is being created. Stateless and first demo EJB remote. So a interface. So just try to click on the interface. So interface is created and our stateless implements this interface. Now try to write some kind of method. Public test demo the method name is test demo and right test demo slash fine now the interface has one method test demo and here we do not have so it is an exception right click and say add an implemented method and what you can see here Testing session B from testing session B. That's it. Testing session B. We have created a session B. That's it. And now what you are trying to do here we have a method test demo. Now let us deploy onto the GBoss. Say right click export EGB job file. EJB job file. We need to deploy it and the location. Let me show you what is the location. EJB demo dot EJB. Copy and say save. See, finish. Right. So look at the folder structure. Here we have the deploy folder. Whenever you have it, once you have installed a JBoss. The folder name is server and in the server the folder name is default and the deploy. So let me go back, 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 back. So assume that here you have a GBoss. The GBoss directory you need to click on the server and then default. In the default once again deploy. That is the domain is the default domain. Server you have, the domain is the default and you can see in the deploy. All the applications are deployed on right now could you guess what is the name I have given that's a demo EJP file and I guess you could see the name over here I have copied it demo EJP from where from Eclipse simply what I said I said right click export and export EJP jar file and 
given that name right name stating demo pgp dot char override existing file and say finish and that's it guys it's working it's being deployed a jar file is copied in the deploy folder copied in the deploy folder and you can see here what is that demo pgp and you can see the time 22.54 exactly and clock on my PC 22.55 a latest one copied fine after doing that you need to start what exactly you have to start you have to start the gbox server click on the bin folder and click on the run command here you have you can see the run command the auto batch file batch windows batch file click on it and the server will be running and you could see the server over here yes guys the server is running in the back end right the server is running in the back end right so it's deployed and you, you could see the jnda names automatic jnda names here we know that a beans are configured in the jnda name as a, as a jnda name and what is the jnda name here first demo ejb slash remote so what are the beans are configured they are registered with the jndi they are registered in the jndi the beans are registered in the jndi so i'll discuss this but before this i need to test it so as well as before testing new we know that we have created a where exactly we are residing we are running on the application server and we know that in the application server also we have a jndi container a jndi as well as we also have a egp container Right. and here is our component assume that here is our EJB component we are assuming that it's a EJB component and what's the name first EJB or hello or whatever first EJB or first demo EJB our component name is demo EJB dot chart file which is deployed on the EJB container right and we know that it has one kind of pin what are the bean? It might have one bean or ten beans or twenty beans or thirty beans. You can also add thirty beans. That's fine. You can add any number of beans, but what this beans has to be done? The bean references has to be registered. They has to be registered. The beans has to be registered in the JNDI. Why? Because a client may not directly he the client the client application any client application a solid or something blah 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 they look up the beans in the